Hey guys, it's Lena. Welcome back to my channel. This is my second video on this channel and I am super excited to make this video. So I have seen a lot of like swimming YouTubers make like what's in my bag videos, but I don't really keep anything in my bag except for like my race goggles and like 50 caps and like a towel and maybe some sunblock. That would be the whole video. So I decided why make that video when I can make what's in my bucket. Yes. I do use a bucket, that's supposed to be a star, obviously you have to fail, but um, I keep all my swimming equipment in my bucket, on like my training equipment and stuff like that, so um, yeah, I just thought that that would be more of an entertaining video than watching me pull out some block and like, oh, this is my towel, yay, so um, let's get on with the stuff. So I'm going to start with my cap. This is a Jolin cap. It is the narwhal one with the little um, lightning bolts. And on the bottom of both sides, it says for women who in, for women who inspire us. Because with a couple exclamation points, I can't talk today. Um, and then I have two pairs of goggles. These aren't my racing goggles. Um, these are my night practice goggles. They are clear goggles because I swim at night. And um, they're just Speedo goggles with a tier uh, aqua bungee cord. I love bungee cords. I cannot use regular ones. I have to use bungee cords now. I'm kind of addicted, but isn't everybody? Um, but these are my morning practice goggles. I do do morning and night practice. Um, so I'm having to constantly look into the sun. So that's why I use... Um, tinted goggles and um, just with um, a faded red or orange bungee cord. So those are my goggles and my caps and I wear that cap every night and I wear those goggles every day. So these are my paddles. They're just plain black speedo paddles. I've had these for a while. These don't break. Ow. <laughs> but these don't break at all. But they are really tough, so like, if you want them to stay on, you have to make them tight, and it ends up hurting your fingers a lot, so I wouldn't really recommend these paddles, but like, I wouldn't not recommend these paddles, if you know what I mean. Now let's go on to my snorkel. Again, I wouldn't really recommend the snorkel, it's the Finnis Freestyle Snorkel. I hate it so much. Oh my gosh, you cannot get me started on the snorkel. I really need to get myself a new one, but I just haven't, I guess. Um, this part is super hard. It's like a rubber. There's no foam. So it's really hard on your face, and it's annoying. And it's really easy to get the water out. But the shape... It's impossible to do any other stroke with this other than freestyle. I probably shouldn't have gotten a freestyle snorkel, but like, come on. And um, it's just annoying. When you're doing butterfly, it's like this and like splashes and just it all goes in there and you're like, yeah. So yeah, wouldn't recommend the snorkel. Jeez. So this is my pool buoy and... I don't really know what company makes it. That's like the logo that is on there. But it's kind of beaten up and I've never even used it before. Because of my bucket, it's brutal in there. Because I just smash everything down to make it fit. But it's actually a pretty big one. But I mean, it's a pool boy, so. Um, next I have my fins. I'm pretty sure like everybody has these exact pair of fins. Maybe not this color, but like the fitness fins are kind of like all my team uses. But um, yeah, they're really good. I've had these for years and they are starting to break a little bit, which isn't really a problem. I have another pair of fins I can wear, but these are my, these are my homies. These are my main fins. Okay, last but not least, we have my kickboard. This is my favorite kickboard I've ever used. It is just an arena kickboard. It's in lime green. These little holes right here make it so nice to swim with. You can also put them up here, but it just doesn't feel right since I've been going like this for like three years, but you know, do what you want. 
but um, it's I really don't like really thick kickboards so this is kind of like the perfect kickboard so I really enjoyed this one and uh, yeah that was what's in my bucket review hope you guys enjoyed and um, yeah have a great day